Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Very quick video today because I'm off out. Um, I've just got to water the mounts today and then I'm uh, out for the rest of the day. But um, this is all, I don't know, the more, the more I come out here, the more I like this. There have been very few changes in this grow room that have made me feel better about the place, if you know what I mean. Some of them were just practical things like new set of shelves for more plants. It doesn't sort of make you feel any different because it's just like another set of shelves. Whereas this is a complete change round. It might not seem like it to you, but it really is different having that much floor space. Um, the only problem I've got is obviously now the um, tiles don't cover all of the floor. But quite honestly, that's not a big deal. It really isn't. And I'm not buying another pack of um, nine tiles just to do that bit there. In fact, if I think about it, if these did come in packs of nine, which I think they did, I must have three tucked away somewhere because <laughs> I haven't used them all. I'll have to have a search. Goodness knows where they got put. Um, but anyway, a few new blooms. Not much else going on out here. As I say, it will be a quick one. Um, I have noticed that on my Herco, Blo Herco Glossum, um, there are some buds, there are some little nubbins showing, so um, <laughs> now I can't find them now out here. But I saw them last time I watered and I thought, oh, that one's, oh yeah. So there are some, yeah. Only tiny at the moment, I mean it's a long way off blooming. But what I did notice is <clears throat> I've got two potfuls of kikis somewhere. They're up here now because I moved them. and. They've got some buds on as well. Um, not that one. Ah, oh, that one there. That cane there has got some buds on it. Um, so the kikis are going to bloom. <laughs> oh, marvellous. Yeah. Some of my kikis seem to have a habit of doing that. Um, but the tolumnias, um, as I said, most of my tolumnias have got spikes now in some shape or form, um, getting to various stages of advancement. Um, this one opened its first bloom a little while ago, starting to open a few more now, so looking quite nice. A um, bit of backlighting going on there because the sun's just come round. But um, it's an attractive bloom. Um, I think that's the latest one to open. Now you can see there's, um, there's the deep maroon colour, but there's only the very slightest tinge of pink. But as they have been open a little bit longer or maybe just it's going to be a variable bloom it does get a bit more colour around the edge a lot of tulumnias do that and they change colour and this one has just literally started to open so that's the first look at that one really that's just a deep deep red but as you move it the red changes it's almost got like a sheen on it um, quite small blooms there but um, plenty more to come. The original, that's, um, both of those are from the, the Christmas lot, from the Christmas do, the new five. Um, this one blasted its spike. I thought, oh no, I'm going to lose that one. But the branches pushed on nicely. So, um, uh, and this branch here has also got a branch. And it looks like it might even have another one starting down there. Anyway, so we've got a couple of new uh, sets of telumnias. My little Phalaenopsis dendrobium Thai Angel has just opened. That's a very attractive bloom, that one. Um, I'll film that better. I'll get it out at some point next time I water it or something. Only four buds. It's not a very good spike. Um, but they're very attractive blooms for the Phalaenopsis types because got, they've got patterning on them, like veining. Um, almost tessellated, but uh, yeah, attractive bloom. Um, that's that one. Not much else going on, quite honestly. I mean, the display area will, will change as time goes on. I mean, having a cattleya down here, I've removed it from its highlight area, so it's not in its best place now. But it's got blooms on, and, and these blooms warrant, you know, a closer look, rather than being stuck up on a top shelf. So, uh, I mean, the... Um, Prima Donna has opened a lot of blooms and is still opening some and it's still got quite a few to come. Yeah, so that one's, uh, the plant's not looking that great this year, but at least it's got, it's quite a 
quite a lot of blooms. I was surprised actually it had so many. I wasn't expecting that, I must admit. And this clivia thing sticking at the top, that's a nice splash of orange. Um, and again, the orange seems to get more intense after the blooms have been open a while, so that's quite nice. Um, my two Paphio pedalums just sort of sat there. I um, don't know how much longer they're going to last, but they're doing okay at the moment. And the Cymbidium, that seems to be a good place for it there. Uh, that's... Yeah, I thought I could see a trace of a slug there. I have to keep my eye out. <laughs> if there's going to be any slugs, they're going to be in that pot, because it spends its summer outside. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can see traces the little slimy trails that you get. So I'll have to get um, a piece of fruit or something and stick it on top of the pot. Um, it's managed to stay hidden all this time. Um, it's only since the blooms have come out. But yeah, there is possibly a little bit of slug damage or maybe a little snail, never know. But uh, we'll have to see if we can track that down. Because um, if it runs out of um, food here, it will move elsewhere and then I'll never find it. <laughs> that's that. The two um, Spring Dreamer pollens have uh, still got their blooms. Um, I'm just letting them get on with it now. I was going to take the blooms off and get the plant going, but uh, it'll push on later. So, you know, it'll only be a matter of a couple of weeks. And the big bush now lives up there. And um, that gives it an awful lot more light than it's ever had. Um, there's a lot of buds on there. Um, the more you look, the more you find. It's a strange concept. You sort of look at a, you know, you see some buds and then you think, oh, there's some more. Oh, there's some more. <laughs> so it's actually got a lot of buds this year. It will be staged, phased, because um, some of the buds are quite advanced now and some of them are only just starting, just a little bit of green on the cane. So um, keep your eye on that. And my Kaneko is um, opening up nicely again. I wasn't expecting this to come into bloom for some time, but uh, it has. Um, we'll, have, <laughs> we'll have what we get. <laughs> and it's, it's got another cane over here coming into bloom, and another one here coming into bloom. So a lot of these old canes are now pushing out buds. Um, and I thought they were too old. And there's another one here. So a lot of these old canes are now budding, which I wasn't expecting. Because um, those canes were there since I, since I got the plant. Uh, why they've just decided to now, I don't know. But we've got all this top growth uh, to sort out. That will be the next lot of um, blooms down the line, you know, as those canes age. But um, we've also got new growth starting on this at the top. So this is a very active plant. It's almost unstoppable. <laughs> Which is good, because some of the others aren't. <laughs> um, a lot of the, uh, there's very few twinkles left out now. They seem to have had their day. Um, the tiny twinkle up here is starting to drop its blooms and the um, spikes on this opened quite close together so probably another week and that's it, that'll be gone and the yellow twinkle's also starting to drop its blooms in places so another week, maybe ten days and that'll be the twinkles gone until the next lot and luckily with the twinkles because they're oncidium types and they're relatively vigorous we won't have to wait a year for the next lot of blooms. The next lot of blooms are probably going to be in about 10 months' time when the next lot of new growths mature. So uh, that'll be nice to look forward to. And um, this little Dendrobium Cuthbertsonii is still, still there. Um, and some of the new growths have pushed on quite nicely. The other one's probably dead. Um, where did I put it? I mounted it to try and uh, keep it moister. But I don't think, I think it's only got a couple of leaves left. No, that's not going to make it. There's no sign of life on that. And it's strange, when I, when I planted them, this was the one that had the best root system. But there's no green on that left at all. So that one's probably lost, unfortunately. But um, nonetheless, we've got one to succeed. That's a one out of two, I suppose. Better than none out of two. Um, yeah, that's about it for today, I think. Just have a quick look round, see what's going on. Oh, the sarcochilus is starting to show colour on its buds. So I don't, again, I've, it's never bloomed for me, so I haven't got a clue how long it's going to take for those to open. Um, but that's a nice little spike. Well, we've got two, four, six, six or seven blooms, maybe eight. 
to come, not yet, to, to come down the line. So, uh, and um, this other Dendrobium phalaenopsis will be open uh, not too soon, actually. Um, and that's the only spike I've got on there. And again, it's a poor spike. I don't do that well with the phalaenopsis types. But, uh, you know, some blooms, again, are better than no blooms at all. That's the um, white one. Although it doesn't look like it's going to be white, uh, that one is white, unless I've got the tags right the wrong way. That is a white one. Um, what else was I going to say? There's a little phalaenopsis is going to be open soon. Um, this one will, but we've seen this one quite frequently. Uh, can I get at it? Let's just move the bicky for a minute. You can go over there. So the other two are hidden up here. Uh, there we go, look, there's the spike. So this one's going to be open soon. Will you turn? Thank you. Okay, so we've got some buds coming here. Um, it's a mini fowl, so obviously the blooms aren't going to be very nice, but from memory they're a, they're a pale yellow with sort of um, magenta spotting and markings. Uh, they're quite an unusual combination of colours. From memory, it's a long time ago when that bloomed, but it's going to bloom again. And uh, that'd be nice. Um, the japonica it's also got a spike that's progressing, it lives down there where it's cooler. So that's got a spike on it, so we'll have some blooms on that soon. Um, yeah, that's about it I think, I'll leave it at that, because as I say I need to go out today, I've got things to do elsewhere, and uh, we'll get back at it again tomorrow. I'll see you then. As I say, this, these new telumnias are quite nice. <coughs> um, I'm not sure whether this is going to be a colour changer. What does the picture say? Yeah, see the picture actually shows a lot more yellowy green on that, including a fringe, yeah, an edging. So uh, that doesn't show at the moment, that edging. So maybe that's going to change colour. Um, but this, this one is looking gorgeous. And it might just be a very... Oh, it sparkles as well now the sun's on it. <laughs> the camera never picks that sparkle up. But uh, Yeah, so... So, uh, some more telumnias on the go. Um, the telumnia peach is looking good. Um, very nice one there. That's, uh, I think, is that the one with another spike coming? No, it's the one that I put up there for now because the blooms are fading. That's got a new spike coming and a new branch. So that, that'll have two lots on the go soon. And um, the big bush, I think the biggest bud is, where is it? Um, they're all over the place. Uh, one up the top there. I think the largest bud is that one through the back there. So that's going to be the one that opens first, I suspect. But uh, yeah, lovely blooms on that. I am looking forward to that coming into bloom. They sort of look out of place, um, if you see what I mean. The style of the plant it doesn't look like it would have those sort of flowers naturally. They look a little bit out of place. Oh, there's another large bud up the back there too. So maybe that one will be first. But what I have noticed this time round is some of the spikes have actually got two buds on. Uh, the, the blooms I had last time um, were all singles. And a lot of the ones that are going to come out now are single buds. But some of the spikes look like they've got two buds for me. So that would be nice to get two flowers next to each other. Right. Let's get cracking. Knock these mounts out. It's quite good the way this works. It's actually easier to do the mounts now because obviously the resting dendrobiums are now back into the watering schedule. So I have to get that locked down each time. And with nothing on the floor, I've got loads of places to hang them, to let them drip. So even that's better by rearranging the grow room. So uh, yeah, the more this happens, the more I like it, basically. <laughs> it's, uh, but it, you know, Things will still move around now and again, but having watered all the pots, a lot of stuff has already moved to where I want it, and um, there isn't a lot of shuffling around left to do now. Obviously, as things come into and, and go out of bloom, they'll move, because they have a resident, you know, like this Catlia, that has resident quarters, which isn't this. But while it's in bloom and it's got more buds to come, I'm happy for it to be there for a while. And being out of its bright light for a short amount of time is not a big deal, you know. So, uh, right, and I'll see you next time. Just a quick look at some blooms today and a chat. I'll uh, 
See you tomorrow sometime with something. It might be another kitchen session, who knows. Oh, the, um, the other buds on the Brassavola little stars are opening. So, uh, and the original ones up the top there are still there. So, uh, yeah, they seem to last quite a long time. And I must remember to come out here after dark and see what they smell like. <laughs> I keep forgetting. But they're looking nice. Typical Brassavola shape and colour. Um, and probably fragrance, but I'll have to find out, won't I? Right, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.